All right, friends, this is the last part of our story. And I love this part of the Christmas story with the wise men. Look, they have, they're holding things in their hands. These are gifts. This is the baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph. Okay. <clears throat> the wise men entered the house and asked to see the Christ child. When Mary brought Jesus into the room, the wise men fell on their knees before God. Like the shepherds, they worshipped him. Then they presented him their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The gold remind us that, reminds us that Jesus is king. The incense, remi incense reminds us that Jesus is our priest in heaven praying for us. And the myrrh reminds us that Jesus, our Savior, died for us. Because the wise men brought these three gifts, most people believe there were three wise men who came to see Jesus. However, there could have been more. There could have been four, five, six, seven, who knows, a lot more. The, crypt, the scriptures don't say for sure. When the wise men left, they did not go to Jerusalem to report to King Herod. Instead, they returned to their own land, for God had warned them in a dream to go home another way. I wonder if we, like the wise men, have worshipped Jesus as Lord and King of our lives. Are we willing for him to be first in our lives, to be our ruler and our king? He wants us to bring him our gifts also, an offering for God's work. Our money can be used to help others who have never heard the name of Jesus. And our gifts of money can be used to send Bibles to people who have never had the Bible in their language so they can read it and learn to trust and obey him. But guess what, friends? God doesn't just want our money, right? What if we don't have money to give him? God wants our hearts, okay? So the Christmas story is over now, basically. But guess what? The story of Jesus didn't end there. He grew up. Jesus grew up from a little baby boy to a man, and then he died on the cross to save us from our sins and rose again on the third day, right? And that's when we celebrate Easter, okay? And I know that I'm so thankful that I accepted Jesus into my heart when I was just seven years old. And some of you are like six or five. You're almost seven, right? And I accepted Jesus into my heart when I was seven, and it was the best decision I ever made, and He's my best friend and I can talk to Jesus whenever, day or night, and he's always there for me, okay? So this Christmas, when you're celebrating at home with your family and friends, maybe, I just want you to remember that Jesus is the reason why we have Christmas in the first place, right? The first Christmas started when Jesus was born, okay? So I hope you enjoyed learning about the Christmas story. Um, you can talk to your parents about it and... Tell them all that you learned. Okay? Bye, friends.